Moving on to a plane crash in Indonesia that's left dozens of people dead. The army says there were 113 people on board the military aircraft when it came down in a residential part of Midan on the island of Sumatra. Large crowds watching emergency workers search the wreckage. It's not yet clear what caused the crash. Joining me now from Jakarta is GRN correspondent Jack Hewson. Jack, what more can you tell us? Uh, well, the latest is that um, 49 bodies have now been recovered from the scene and 23 have been identified. Um, one child is um, among the dead, that's been confirmed, but they're still um, waiting for more bodies to arrive at the hospital and more efforts to identify them and hopefully some survivors as well. Um, at dusk, the wreckage was still smouldering uh, five hours after the event, uh, with, as you say, rescue workers picking through the debris. Um, so it, it's, it's, a, it's quite a scene and over the next 24 hours it's likely that the casualties and the, the numbers of dead will rise. Now Indonesia has seen several such crashes involving military aircraft in, in recent years, right? Um, well, less so military aircraft, more passenger aircraft. Um, Indonesia has a very bad safety record. Uh, in general, um, as it happens in the rather coincidentally in 2005, a passenger plane crashed in exactly the same street um, in there in Medan in northern Sumatra, killing 149 people, uh, including people on the ground. Um, between 2007 and 2009, uh, no Indonesian airlines were allowed to fly into uh, the European Union, including the national carrier Garuda. So, um, generally speaking. Um, it, there is a poor safety record uh, for both military and uh, civilian planes in Indonesia. All right. Thank you very much, Jack. Uh, Jack Hewson reporting from Jakarta.